Hey, what's up, YouTube? We're going to be looking at the Sailfish SDK today, and they just released it, so it's pretty cool. It's pretty big, you know? Um, let's just jump right into it. So first thing you want to do is just create a new project, and pretty straightforward here. And you can just put a brief description in here. And then if you want to use git, there is some stuff for that in there too. So anyways, um, it starts you out with like uh, everything that you need to put content on your phone. So for your first application, all this stuff is really handy. And you'll be using QML for the graphics as well as C++. Um, Alright, so let's just start the device. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, and it is started. So there's your lock screen. You can see you just slide it up and your home screen. And down here are extra applications. So home screen, lock screen. And there's the time. Um, and then you can see if you slide it up there, you can select silent profile. And on the full OS, there are quite a few more options there. But this is stripped down for the SDK. So that's all you'll see right now. Um, it does come with a default little um, application here, and this application includes a bunch of helpful info. What you're looking at right here, you will have buttons, all the different kinds of buttons that you, you'll be using, combo boxes, just to give you an idea of what things look like, what, what you're going to be getting yourself into. For developing applications, this is really handy. Um, all that kind of stuff, you know. Let's see here. Do a search. That is cool. And to close out the application, just hold it down and then X. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed. And um, don't forget to download the SDK. It's at selfishos.com. I think I'm not. It's .com or .org or something, but it's selfishos. So, um... Yeah, enjoy.